Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the content patch for the 26th of April 2013. My name is Total Biscuit with today's gaming news and comment. Coming up in the show, there is no gaming news and comment. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's it's been one of those weeks, honestly. There's not really a huge amount I actually want to talk about, and really this show is about stuff that I want to talk about that I find interesting in the news, and I don't find game announcements and so on and so forth being all that intriguing. So instead, let's do some bundle roundups and let's have a look at some of the sales that are going on. That sounds like a good idea. Let's mix it up, shall we? Let's mix it up. All right, here's your roundup of current indie bundles that are going around. And I will first let you know about the Indie Royale Luna bundle. This one consists of PID, Cargo Commander, Back to the Future, and Dungeon Hearts, with three unlockable games by the looks of it later down the line. Some mystery games going on with that one. So this bundle is available over on IndieRoyale.com. And the Indie Royale works in a different way to most. It's not really a pay what you want as it were. What happens is if you beat the minimum price, then you knock the price down for other people. If you spend less than the minimum price, then the price sort of starts to slowly rise. And there's also a bonus album available for those who pay $8 or more. Don't really know what they're going to be doing with the three other games. That's certainly hard to say. So it might be a case of you've got to beat a certain price to gain access to those ones. It's a weird system. I've never really understood why they actually do it but it seems to work fairly well for them now let's have a look at the games in and of themselves pid is a pretty nice platform it's a puzzle platformer game it is rather attractive in terms of its graphic style very very good looking and it's rather charming i have to say it's not the kind of game that i'm personally into but i know a lot of people are cargo commander i actually liked an awful lot procedurally generated space cargo adventure very very strange indeed you have to make your way through various large cargo containers that all squish together and you've got to retrieve as much cargo as possible while also defeating the enemies within before everything gets sucked back into a black hole it's a really interesting concept it's got a nice slick graphic style and as far as i'm concerned it is a nice game to pass the time on it's also got a neat feature whereby the procedurally generated worlds can be shared with other people via the use of a seed name so if you all wish to go and play on the massive dongs level you can do that back to the future the game probably one of the weaker telltale games if i'm totally honest but if that's the entire series which it would appear to be then that in itself is fairly good value it's a nice tie into the movies don't get me wrong but considering their more recent work like the walking dead as well as stuff like sam and max it's not really up to par in my honest opinion and dungeon hearts this is a fairly recent release it's actually a fairly cheap game to begin with so if you're just looking to get it for that then i wouldn't really recommend it and it is a puzzle quest ish kind of game it's got some match three concepts going on but it's also got a bit of rhythm game as well so it's almost like everything scrolls along like it would in guitar hero it's it looks really fun honestly and i would definitely try it out but it is also available on steam and you can pick that up on its own if you so desire for like three dollars so Again, I wouldn't just be getting the bundle for just that. It's a good bundle. As I said, it's worth it for PID and Cargo Commander as far as I'm concerned. Dungeon Hearts and Back to the Future are a nice bonus. And we will see what they decide to unlock over the next few days with the rest of it. All right. Another bundle that's currently going on is the Build a Green Light 2 bundle, which can be found over at Groupies. That is groupies.com slash B-A-G-B-2. You'll find all these links in the description below this video. As always, 20% of the donations are going to a kid by the name of Caden Bello. He is actually a two-year-old boy who has leukemia, which is very unfortunate indeed. The bundle itself contains an interesting set of choices, including Dark Out, Grim Mind, Itchy, Gravi, Little Racers Street, Enamel Crow, Draconian Wars, and Death Ray Manta. And you are able to put together a bundle based on what you would find interesting. This bundle is only running for the next two or so days, so that's certainly worth considering. And they're offering Steam keys when these games actually reach green lights. The thing is, that's assuming that they do reach green lights. This is very much a promotional thing, as you might imagine. There are still some things to be unlocked. The Gravi soundtrack is being unlocked as we speak, and there are a bunch of other titles as well as soundtracks and albums being unlocked at the moment. There are a couple of games in there that actually do look pretty cool. Draconian Wars is an online card game. Crow 
actually was a title that was released on iOS originally, and it was pretty awesome as far as I'm concerned. It would be nice to actually see that on PC. Stuff like Dark Out, which is a neat little sandbox, which is very much influenced by Terraria. So it's certainly worthy of a look if you're looking for something interesting out of the ordinary that you haven't necessarily heard of before. Final bundle to have a look at would be Bundle Stars. This is a fairly new site. This is their sixth bundle here. Once again, the fairly standard pay what you want, although you do have to pay above a certain amount to get all the games. And in this case, the bundle itself is called Catnip and includes Pushcat, Metal Drift, Wasteland Angel, Obulus, Nicopol, Chains, Postmortem, Avancast, Rise of the Mage, as well as Scratches and Chrome Spec Force. There's a lot of not so good games in that bundle, honestly, and then there's some that are kind of at least worth tickling. Chrome Spec Force is not awful. It's actually a Techland game, the guys that brought you Dead Island. It's it's actually kind of fun. It's janky as hell, but it's kind of fun. Scratches is an interesting bit of horror. Avancast is not a bad action RPG. I enjoyed my time with that one. And Metal Drift is, is reasonable. Yeah, It's a nice little indie sci-fi racer, but the rest of it... It's hard to really say. Wasteland Angel in particular I find to be a particularly poor game. I don't like that at all. I actually thought it was one of the worst games I played that year. So there is a situation where you might want to grab a few of them, but it's definitely not the best bundle I've ever seen. All right, folks, that wraps you up on the bundles. So let's make a move on and have a look at some sales this weekend. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with Steam. There's quite a lot to go through here, so let's crack through it quite quickly. First thing that actually popped out at me, of course, is the Rockstar sale. Rockstar Game Weekend is currently going on, and the best titles there to grab for the price would probably end up being Max Payne. Max Payne Complete comes with Max Payne 1, 2, and 3. Again, you can really dodge Max Payne 3 because I found the game to be annoyingly cutscene heavy. There is more than three hours of cutscenes in that game and you can't skip them, which is really irritating. But it's probably worth trying if you're willing to tolerate that. I don't think the game plays as good as Max Payne 1 and 2 or the storytelling, in fact. But with 75% off, that's pretty good. Alternatively, you can pick up the Max Payne bundle, which is 75% off, which gives you 1 and 2, which are the best games and costs next to nothing. There is a GTA Complete Pack available as well as Grand Theft Auto 4 Complete Edition. Those are both 50% off. We have some of the older games also 50% off as well. It's kind of surprising how much San Andreas and Vice City still actually cost. They're not doing deep discounts on those. LA Noir, 66% off. You've actually seen that cheaper before. So if you're not really in a hurry to grab LA Noir, then you might just want to avoid that entirely. The complete edition comes with a DLC bundle, which is worth having. But again, even the one on its own is just 60% off. We've seen 75% off discounts on LA Noir in the past. So not the best. Bully Scholarship Edition, I think is a great game, but the port is really not very good. So it might be something you want to consider getting on console instead, which is a shame. I think it's one of Rockstar's best games. That's 50% off. You can also pick up Manhunt and Midnight Club 2 at 50% off as well. So that is the Rockstar sale in a nutshell there. Now, if you wanted to look for the best indie deal on Steam right now, I think, honestly, it's got to be Forge. Forge is currently 75% off, which is pretty huge. They just launched a new character in the form of the Ravager. So that's a new class. And they've tightened up that game a lot. That's a game... I played in beta and I thought had a lot of problems, but as an MMO skill-based arena game, it's actually pretty good. And they have done a lot to resolve the problems that that game had. As a result, I can probably recommend that game for the price they're asking for, which is five dollars, five euros, or three pounds seventy-four. I, I would have a look at it. I really, really would. It's certainly worthy of your time. And if you want to try it out before you buy it, you can do that. There is actually a free weekend going all the way on until Sunday at one p.m. Pacific time. So there's a possibility for you. Go and have a look at Forge. It's probably one of the better deals on there this weekend. Speaking of deals, we've also got Brutal Legend. That is 50% off. Bear in mind that Double Fine did not do a good job with the PC port for Brutal Legend, unfortunately. Most people reported that the keyboard and mouse combination was a fairly unusable control method and the game does not look particularly good. They really didn't do much of an effort to deal with the texture quality. Even at 50% off, I mean, it's a great game, don't get me wrong. I loved Brutal Legend. I played through the whole thing on console when it first came out, and I thought it was great. But, one, a lot of people will disagree with me and believe it's not actually 
that good. And then secondly, they'll say, well, the PC port's are rubbish, you shouldn't be buying it. And I can't really disagree. If you really want to play it, then yes, you can play it with a 360 controller. But as I said, be very, very aware that the PC version is not so good. One more thing I would recommend on Steam before I move on to a few other retailers is grabbing Defense Grid The Awakening. They just announced Defense Grid 2 has been funded, which is awesome. They've got a publisher and investor for it. You can pick up the original one dirt cheap. It is really, really good. It's an excellent tower defense game with an amazing personality. It's one of the only TD games where it's worth it to play the story. Trust me, you will love the computer in that game. It is a wonderful piece of narration. Very, very cool. All right, let's jump on over to Gamers Gate and see what they happen to have. Uh, probably one of the standout deals has got to be their price on Hitman Absolution, which is bonkers. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. $10 or your regional equivalent over there. That's nuts. It's a 75% off deep discount. That is not going to be around for much longer. At the time of recording, it was expiring in 11 hours. So chances are by the time this video goes up, you're only going to have a few hours to pick that up. It's that's just a great discount on a game which I thought was reasonable like it is it wasn't as good as blood money There's no real question, but there's a lot of stuff to like in that game Especially for that particular price for, for the love of God Hey, you you really do need to be going to have a look at that one. That's a really great price Also ghost recon future soldier currently on there. That is a daily deal So once again that will expire pretty quickly you can get the one for 60% off Future Soldier is a decent game, but bear in mind that I had some pretty bad performance issues on launch. I never really got the chance to revisit it after that because it just fell off the radar. But it's still a good tactical third-person shooter, and perhaps for that price, it might be what you're looking for. It's definitely not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. All right, what else is on there? If you want to grab the expansion for Trine 2 Goblin Menace, then Gamers Gate is a really good place to grab that because it costs next to nothing. Nice big discount of 75% on that one. Bear in mind that does require the original Trine 2 to actually play it. So please do not just grab that. Thankfully, Trine 2 is also 75% off at $3.75. Now, Trine 2 have, has been discounted a lot, but the Goblin Menace generally doesn't. So that's kind of a big deal. Also, if you missed out on Chivalry, I would strongly suggest Gamers Gate would be the place to go for it. 66% off for Chivalry. And that's a really, really good deal indeed. Once again, most of these deals are going to expire fairly shortly. So grab them while you can. Also, all the AI War games very much discounted over on Gamers Gate. AI War is really awesome. It's so hard to describe how cool that game is. It's a mixture of a 4X, a tower defense, and all sorts of crazy universe exploring stuff. It's a game that, in my opinion, did not get enough attention. It's all heavily discounted over on Gamers Gate right now, and I would strongly, strongly recommend it. Let's move on and have a look at Green Man Gaming, shall we? Green Man Gaming has a few interesting sales going on at the moment as well. If for some reason you do not want to grab Forge on Steam, you can grab it there. Admittedly, it's still a Steamworks game, so you're going to have to use it regardless. Now, the discounts that they've got that are pretty worth getting, I've got to say, would be the Tomb Raider-related discounts. Tomb Raider Anniversary and Legend, both at 75% off, as well as Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light, which is a really, really good isometric action game. Big fan of that one. You can also get the brand new Tomb Raider for 50% off. That's not a deal we have seen all that much yet. Obviously, that game's only been out for like a month or two, so that's kind of a big deal. You can pick up the Tomb Raider collection as well, although just bear in mind that does not include the new Tomb Raider, and the old ones don't really stand the test of time that well. They've got a lot of complete packs over on Green Man Gaming right now. Ones that I think are worthwhile would probably be the Total War Grand Master Collection. That's definitely Definitely a very good deal there. And aside from that, that's actually kind of about it. Unfortunately, the rest of them do have some pretty bad games in them. <laughs> like Jagged Alliance sounds great until you realize the latest Jagged Alliance wasn't very good. The latest Spell Force games weren't that good either. Patrician 4 is just dreadful. So there's a lot of stuff you can just dodge there and avoid because really it's not as good a deal as it actually appears. If you have a look on Origin, you'll find some deals on Battlefield 3. The original Battlefield 3 is actually 75% off, which is a really good deal. The latest DLC for it, Aftermath and Endgame, you can find at 50% off as well. And you will also find Tomb Raider for the same price as you would at a Green Man Gaming. 
So it's whatever you really prefer there. And you can also grab Lego Lord of the Rings at 50% off on Origin as well. Now let's wrap up with GOG. Always a good place to go. GOG is having its regular weekend sale and there are plenty of discounts available for you. The ones that I would personally be looking at would probably be for Guiana Sisters and Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami at $5, which you can buy that anywhere, by the way. It's not just your regional equivalent. You can just buy it in dollars, which is absolutely awesome. That's definitely worthy of a look. That is a really amazing game, and I would strongly recommend that you check it out. Guiana Sisters Twisted Dreams is 50% off as well, which is pretty good, as is Retro City Rampage, and also Unmechanical. That's not a very long game, so I would have recommended to wait for it to go on sale, and now it has been, so you can grab that for half price. Bear in mind, of course, everything on GOG is very much DRM-free, so you'll be able to grab whatever you want there and not have to link it to Steam. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up. Obviously, there's a lot more sales. We could be on all day if I were to go through every single game, but those are my picks. Those are my recommendations. Go and check them out. Please bear in mind, of course, these are most likely only valid till the weekend, so you are not going to have much of a chance to grab these, so you better be quick about it. And I think we'll wrap up the show, of course, with some music. Why not? That's probably a very, very good idea. I stumbled across an absolutely fantastic... Echo the Dolphin remix, from Echo to the Tides of Time. And I think a lot of people know the Medusa theme, yeah? And that's a very, very popular track indeed. There are three remixes of that available at OC Remix. Vents of Medusa is the name of the song. My favorite one, however, has got to be Waves of Stone, which is a collab effort between Level 99, Moonlapse, and OA. This is a really easy song to do a techno variant on, and those tend to sound pretty good. However, in this case, they elected to do live guitar. Now, this is risky, because a lot of the OC Remix stuff that actually ends up using live instruments is generally not as good quality, whether it just be because it was recorded on an inferior interface. It's difficult to make that stuff. Live studio environments are hard to do, but this track nails it so hard it's not even funny. And I love it. It's really, really good. The name of it is Waves of Stone. You can, of course, download it for free on ocremix.org. Link is in the description below this video. Ladies and gentlemen, please have a safe and wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.